This is the Night Wolf howling at you, and today we are going to be taking a look at the Masters of the Universe Origins Snake Face, the most gruesome of the Snake Men warriors. Now, many of the deluxe figures have the nice bit of character artwork in the upper corner. We have an extra head, a snake shield, and the Kind of silly looking snake staff that came with pretty much every snake man. On the back, we see that Snake Face's power allows him to turn his enemies into stone. Also in the back, we see that the Grayskull Tower from the Eternian playset. We've got Squeeze and King Hiss there and the rest of the figures from the wave. Now, because this does have the artwork on here, I do like to at least make an attempt to try to keep it all looking nice. On the plus side with this, the artwork is actually not being touched by the plastic, so I can still do this the old-fashioned way. Otherwise, I would be taking them out using a knife to cut along the plastic. And there we have the packaging all nice and safe. Here we have the comic book that comes with him and Dragon Blaster Skeletor. Viper's Vice. I think I actually scanned this in for Ken at Retro Toy Escapades actually not too long ago. And we have another appearance of Cosmic He-Man. Uh, technically, I guess this would be the first appearance we've had of him. The other time we saw him was in Fangor's comic. So I assume this is going to be another Creations figure sometime in the near future. We have the standard little paper that shows us what parts can come loose, in theory. Fangor shield. It's honestly, it's kind of ridiculous looking too. I think King has had the best shield out of the Snake Men. Here we have the extra head for him, where the snakes are actually coming out of everywhere, except for his mouth, which is still a tongue. I'm kind of curious as to how he normally sees. Does he see through the eyes of the two snakes that make up his eyes, or? When they're in his head, do they just look like regular eyes? Uh, we've got some nice bit of coloring here where they uh, did a nice gradient on the helmet. The details on the helmet are pretty nice. kind of wish they would have painted this snake here, though, also. Oh. We'll take at least half of them out of the package. So Snake Face's big power here is, of course, to turn people to stone like Medusa. Now to do that, his nipples fall down and turn into snakes, pop his head off, put the replacement head on there. We'll go ahead and we'll give him his shield and his ridiculous looking staff. Now, I believe in the vintage version, there was a lever on the back of his body that actually caused the snakes on his face and chest to pop out on their own. Uh, but we do know with Origins, a lot of those action features did not translate over. And to be honest with you, I think a lot of case with these just kind of seems like 
we're getting a little more cheaper with some of these Velexes. Um, now it seems like it's just you need a second head just to become a Deluxe. Speaking of which, we should probably take a look at his original head since we discussed the snake one. We got the little details where his tongue is just kind of hanging there, getting ready to pop out. His eyes do look like regular eyes, not snake heads. The helmet itself still has all the same detail, including the little uh, snake rat tail hairdo there. So, and Snake Face once more fights against He Man and the forces of Skeletor because the Snake Men are trying to take over Eternia themselves altogether. Feel my wrath, He Man and Fakor. Why is my power not working on you? I am Fakor. I am a robot. Pow. Thank you, Fakor. I appreciate the help. Pow! Fakor is supreme. So anyway. I think that will do it for our review and unboxing of the Origins snake face. Uh, he's a figure, though, that I think I will display him with his snakes out. And even his little nipple snakes. It is kind of interesting, though, like, to note, they can move together or independently. So, that's kind of cool. Anyway. As for always, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Even if you think I'm being an idiot when I do this, I appreciate the feedback. Peace and love, everyone. Peace and love.